All right, welcome back to another video, you guys. So I wanted to showcase my raptor here. I thought she was very beautiful. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tame a Fiamia. I'd like to explain why it's important, and the reason is it's really good for farming. I'm showcasing the Fiamia here. This is what they look like. They kind of look like a oversized pig. It's it's kind of funny. <clears throat> if you find yourselves liking this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'd really greatly appreciate it. Alright, so with that, um, this is how they're used in farming. You put stim berries inside the inventory, and then you force feed it to them, and it makes them have extremely bad diarrhea. Uses their food, so you need to make sure that they have either lots of food on them or are near a feeding trough so that they can eat. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So it's always best to <clears throat> once you do that, excuse me, once you do that, to uh, put your poop with thatch in a compost bin. However, I was able to tame a dung beetle. This is the best way to get fertilizer, as you'll see here. That is a lot of fertilizer I received from this one dung beetle. All you have to do is place uh, poop in their inventory, and they will produce it in time. All, as you can see there as well, they produce a tiny bit of oil, so if you have a lot, it is a way to get oil that's safer than, say, going out and mining it. Now you'll notice I take a one poop off because in order to make them produce fertilizer, you have to enable wandering. If they are too weighed down, it won't work. I built this pen inside the house because they are escape artists. If you'd like to know how, please leave a comment and I can give you a couple options on how to build a pen to that is dung beetle uh, safe. And I tried to light my cell phone fire right there. <laughs> Alright, so with this, let's go ahead and get this fertilizer and stuff out of my inventory, and we'll continue from there. If you haven't seen how I built my farm, I'll leave a link in the description below. Alright, so first of all, you have to bring either a crossbow or a primitive bow. My uh, raptor here was kind of in the way. I had to try to attempt to move it. <laughs> Having some issues here. As SpongeBob would say, backing up, backing up. Okay. <laughs> Third time's a charm, I guess, right? <clears throat> so, here we go. Grab some Trank arrows. And if you have enough, grab some narcotics. You might need them. But I won't need them. Now in order to stop a Fiomia from running away from you, you have to craft a bola. The materials are there as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and grab them and build some for you. The materials are thatch, hide, fiber, and stone. Now the bola is going to be very important when you're first beginning. I recommend crafting between five to eight if you can. Here, I only craft three because that's all I need. Now why are bolas important? Not only to stop either Parasaurs or Fiamia from running away while you're trying to tame them, if by chance you're in the wild and you run into a raptor, it stops them in their tracks too. And you have time to either get away, or if you so choose, try to tame the raptor as well. Even a high level raptor I think takes maybe 12 to 15 trank darts to the head, and they're usually knocked out. Also don't forget, Go harvesting for some berries before you try to tame a Fiomia. 
Mejos are the best if you don't have access to kibble or vegetables yet. You'll most likely be on foot, but I'm going to use my griffin so that, well, it's faster for you guys. Fiomia can be found in a lot of different ranges, uh, biomes, excuse me. We're going to head to the grassland down south there. That's only slightly discovered. But they can be found in the redwoods, grasslands, tree areas. The only place I haven't found them that I know of is in the snow biome. Alright, so we're taking off here. And I, I realize I'm heading the wrong direction. As you can see, there's Fiumio right below me, but I didn't happen to see that yet. I also, to my right there, did not spot that Giga. What? There we go. There's a couple Fiumia. Right there. Okay, level 15. This is perfect, especially if you're just starting. Lower level dinosaurs are easy to tame because they take less trank arrows or trank darts to knock out. Now there's an example of why the bullet is important. It cannot run away for a time. One shot to the head is sufficient enough to knock it out. Now at this point, this video has suddenly changed from taming a Fiumia to wait, is that a Giga? I was so excited to see this, to be honest with you guys. This was the first time since I've played Ark I've actually seen a Giga in the game. I've always seen it on other videos, seen other people tame it, and I was so excited and so stoked, I did not know what to do. I was confused as to whether or not I should try to tame it. Should I leave it alone? Should I remember this moment? I'm not sure. As you can see, still still excited, like, oh my goodness. Plus, it's a, one le a level 145. That is five levels below the max uh, wild dino taming level. And there's one Fiumia I want to tame for later. So here, I'll show you. They actually consume food quite fast. So putting Mejo Berries in its inventory tamed it fairly quickly. Even at a high level, a Fiomia will tame fairly quickly because they consume food so fast. I was in a hurry to try and tame the Giga, so I just named it Fatty. And with that, I have decided to rush back to base, leaving the Fiomia to fend for itself. Here I'm deciding we're going to try and go for that Giga and grab as many trank darts and arrows as I can. Because from my experience watching some other videos, I know it takes quite a bit of trank darts, trank arrows to actually knock them out. But as we see, I'll show you here soon, I did not have enough.
All right, finally, after a grueling, I think, hour and a half, I knocked it out. So, this is very exciting. Never had I knocked out a Giga before. So, pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out how to get in the inventory here, also worrying about being attacked at the same time. I open it up, and I proceed to realize, holy crap, look at that health. 80,000, as well as his tool port is dropping super fast. Now again, really uncool that I had to do this, but I used admin commands to eventually get it tamed. I had to spawn in a ton of narcotics, as well as some kibble to tame it. So yes, you can judge me all you want. I'm actually not happy with how it tamed. I'm also not happy with, with those stats. It seems like he dropped from 80,000 down to uh, 18,000 health. Well, he's still pretty cool looking as you can see. I'm excited to try him out. So I decided to take him over here to attack this Bronto. Now if you were watching in the beginning and you saw Fatty unfortunately get destroyed by him when he was wild, you'll see the yellow numbers of a thousand damage. Now watch here, only 908. I think at this point I may have only put, oh, three or four levels into him. I can't remember exactly, but still, that's disappointing. I thought a Giga was supposed to be one of the strongest dinosaurs that you tamed once you, you know, tamed him up. But, I guess not. <laughs> I was hoping to keep the bleed attack too that they have, but in the wild, they're not. I force fed him way too many narcotics, so his torpidity key continues to go up. But that's okay. We'll get him back to base here. I love the roar. It's so cool. Trying to squeeze him over this bridge. Let's see if this happens. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I thought it was going to make it here. Oh, 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 there we go. He made it. Awesome. I love the comparison between the size of the Giga and the size of the Rex. It's actually crazy how much bigger the Giga is. Well, there you have it. Now you guys have learned how to tame not only a Fiumia, but also how not to tame a Giga. So again, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and tell your friends. I'll see you later.